may think that you know what washing machines are capable of, but not to this level. John, we're here at MechWash. I'm surrounded by all of these machines, but what do you do here? Well, at MechWash, we make washing machines. It's as simple as that. Basically for sophisticated engineering components, metal, plastic, um, aerospace, automotive, hydraulic, but the most sophisticated parts you ever want to clean, we've got the machines for you. But it's not just machines though, is it? It's not just about the machinery. And the thing about MechWash is we understand the entire process end to end. So we understand the chemistry, we understand the different applications of the technologies of cleaning. We've got a separate laboratory where we can investigate cleanliness, look at chemicals, look at substrates, understand and analyze the precise cleanliness of the parts before and after we finish with them. And who is it that requires your level of machine? We're mainly dealing with, uh, as I say, hydraulics, aerospace, automotive, medical industries, but it's people who make very, very complicated parts um, that they struggle to clean in simpler washing systems. So it's, uh, it's blue chip companies and their supply chain normally. Right, and you've got a birthday to celebrate, not personally. Yeah, 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 you're, nice you're, though, right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> uh, MechWash is 30 years old next month, in fact. So it's, uh, it's all very topical, we're looking forward to it. It's, it's a sign of maturity 30 years old, we think. And we think we've got some wonderful systems, a lot of which, a lot of the earlier systems we made are still in circulation, are still working every single day. And you refurb these? We do refurb them. Um, it depends how hard they've been used. Sometimes they'll just keep going 20, 30 years without being touched. For some of them, 15, 20 years, they'll come back here, we'll rebuild them from scratch, send them out again so they're ready for another 15, 20 years. Impressive, I like that. And can you break down the variety of machines that you provide? Because it's quite a scope. Yeah, you're, you're, you're right. I mean, we're best known for almost the top of the range machines, the sophisticated machines, which might include things like ultrasonics or vacuum drying. Um, for very complex components and applications. But we also make some intermediate washers. Uh, the Duo range we make is a, a good value system which provides uh, flood washing, spraying, uh, rinsing and hot air drying, which is a good general all-rounder. And we make some intermediate wash systems called Solos, which are fairly simple washing, but are, are, are more economical. But as I say, we're, we're probably best known for the more sophisticated end of the, uh, of the cleaning market. I know that your business is a global business, but just to kind of simplify, who is it that's coming to you? I know everything's very application specific, but what are people coming to you for? And what do you go, yep, we can do that. Um, that's a difficult one. For different people, they're coming for, for a variety of different reasons. For some people, it's um, they've got components which dare I say, have very small holes in them or they're very tenacious applications, very tenacious, sticky uh, contamination. Um, but what, what they come to us for overall really is just the, the analytical process and the insight that we can bring. Uh, we've got such a depth of experience in cleaning that we can really understand all the problems. If we haven't seen them before, we can go back to first base and we can work them out from scratch. So we get a lot of customers who have um, very complex problems basically, They're the sort of people that want to deal with us. Um, also, we, we have a sort of, we deal with some big brands that has a halo effect because that gives people confidence that um, when they're dealing with us, they're dealing with the sort of people that, that work with the, the greats in the different industry, the blue chips. It's very complicated. When you look in the back of it, it's all flashing lights and a load of electronics. It's not like an old system at all. Um, they've got to fit in with a modern, sophisticated factory with very, very expensive machine tools and perform just as well. And they also integrate in terms of automation. So they often have robots working with them or conveyor systems or overhead gantry systems with them. And it integrates beautifully and it gives you a top quality finish.